additionally, I think um, we need to we talk a lot about collaboration and, and collaboration um, means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Um, and everybody talks about it. They know that what it is, but not a huge amount of people actually know how. How do we collaborate with the NHS? How do we, you know, become um, a voice beyond just, you know, selling a product? How, how do we work above brand and as, as a trusted partner? And actually, um, in my experience, we quite often get asked to um, look at experts from, from different areas and their insight. And a lot of people focus very much on, oh, yes, I would like a, a specialist consultant in this area. And actually, collaboration with professionals from diverse healthcare fields, such as, yes, your docs, but nurses, public health experts, uh, and even your administrators, you know, your, your GP receptionist, your first touch point for patients, can actually provide valuable insights and expertise into whatever it is you're trying to either, you know, break into market or look at, look at service redesign, because these are people who are dealing at the front end. They understand the challenges. And, they, and if you can... If you can um, kind of bridge that gap collaboratively of actually what you're trying to do is to make their lives better and this is the impact on them, not this is something really shiny, we think all patients should use it. Um, you already have a collaboration and people are much more willing to work with you to kind of move towards that implementation or, or utilizing how you could do a, a case for change to, to you know, bring certain um, services from secondary care into primary care, for example. Um, I think also it's really important for anybody looking at service redesign to really understand the kind of the, the financial support. So when somebody is interacting with the NHS, um, it's actually understanding the NHS funding streams itself. So when you're talking about a device or you're talking about, you know, medicine, et cetera, it's understanding because the people necessarily in the services don't actually know what is available to them themselves. So you having that insight and being able to go in and say, actually, I've had a look into this and we could look at, you know, the transformation budget that is coming out or there's been a new mandate in the NHS and there's, there's you know, 14.1 billion pounds being put aside for innovation and we could fit it into that. You're actually taking away a lot of the, oh, well, this is a great idea, but what do I do with it now? How do I get this signed off? Where does this fit in? And, and the budgetary considerations, they're essential um, to kind of ensuring the sustainability and viability of health services. So why shouldn't we be collaborating on that with, you know, people outside of the NHS to bring in that expertise?